How does she describe her boyfriend? Such a hick. And what are his parties like? Girls were in the kitchen swapping recipes. The guys were in the back playing horses. So she partied with a city slicker. Anything stand out? Yeah, her breasts. Meanwhile, he had a blind date. Kind of dressed like white trash. With small town charm. She would right. probably fit in at your horseshoe party. And big city ideas. We talked about uh, sexual positions. Will they stay for another roll in the hay? Such a hick. Or have a change of heart? Thank you very much. I'm Chris Jagger. Welcome to Change of Heart. Our couple today, they met at a wedding. She caught the bouquet and he snagged the garter. Well, they went out that same night and three months later, they wonder if this matrimonial match is really meant to be. Please welcome Jay Crippen and Christy Floquet. <laughs> Welcome to the show. And Jay, what was it about Christy that had you lunging for the garter? Uh, well, as you can tell, you could, you know, she has very nice, voluptuous, tan, dark legs. Yes. <laughs> and uh, she, I, could, I could tell right off the bat, she was definitely somebody I could spend more than five minutes with, without a doubt. Well, good. And Christy, how's Jay uh, kept you happy since that rather fateful wedding night? Well, Jay's been a great boyfriend. He's very attentive. He spoils me when he can, takes me out. He has, he has a steady job, and he's, he's been great. Nothing and, wrong with that. And uh, Jay takes care of me where it really counts. Okay. <laughs> now, Jay, Christy says that you spoil her. How much effort does it really take? She is driving me to welfare. She's, <laughs> she's, she's, she's terrible. A little too I much? Am, I, I, am paid, I pay for everything. Everything that we ever oh, go out, I am paying. That is not true. I bought dinner the other night. No. <laughs> now, but wait a minute, Jay. Does she give you any kind of gifts in return? Anything at all? Well, the only thing I get from her from Christmas was a, was a little slip. It was like an IOU. Here, I'm going to take okay. you to Vegas. I think Christy, it's still that's folded in my yeah, wallet. You know what? I, I was coming into a lot of money in a couple months. Oh, so I, I see. Like, I wanted to get him something good. Right, right. Thought, oh, that's it's understandable. A couple months later from Christmas. Christy, what about Jay that makes you think maybe he's not really the most compatible for you? <laughs> Jay is such a hick. <laughs> a hick? How do you get a hick? What, what, okay. Do I dress like okay. him? Do I have, do I have well, cowboy you boots have on? Plan do I talk okay. like y'all? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's plaid. Plaid, plaid. He, our third date, he took me to a horseshoe party. Hey. Okay, all the guys all, are in the hey, backyard. All that is just a reason to play horseshoes. Have fun. The girls are in the yeah, kitchen. Yeah, there you go. No, 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 the girls. No, no need to be in a hick Excuse about me. that. The girls were in the kitchen swapping recipes. The guys were in the back playing horseshoes. Wow. He watches WWF every That's night. That's right. Smackdown. Yeah. Look at that damn room. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, Jay, wait a minute. She calls you a hick. What do you call her? She's a high-class wannabe snob. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wannabe. Oh. Wannabe. I am not. No, you, I am no. totally nice to everyone. No, you're not. Okay. Not at yeah. all. Now, Christy, no when you guys have arguments, how's Jay, you know, how does he react in that situation? Oh, my God. He is the most pig-headed, stubborn <laughs> man I've ever met. Don't Ooh. hold back. Yeah. He will be in an argument, and he'd rather break up with me than listen or admit that he's wrong, which oh. he always is. I'm never wrong. <laughs> oh, yes, all right, a little difference of opinion on that, yeah. I guess. Oh, God. Christy, obviously, support in a relationship is very integral. How's Jay in that department? He's not supportive at all. I go to all his softball games. I cheer oh, him I, on. I scream yeah. for him. I ask him to go to one of mine. He's like, no, that's too far to drive. Every time I don't you're at a softball game, you're running your mouth so damn much. The whole team like wants to beat me up because you're running your mouth. Oh. <laughs> oh, they come after you. They want to come after me. You, mean, totally the one, labeled, you mean the one game that you, you went to? I'm no, totally I labeled as the, as the girlfriend. Yeah, but Jay, you got to have her You gotta have her back once in a while. Yeah. Now, I understand it was your idea to actually come on the show. Tell us why. Well, she is like, she is, she is like just totally demanding and... I don't think she's appreciative of what kind of person I am, and she, you know, she needs to realize that not everybody Please. drives a Porsche can make you happy. You know, people people like myself can you know make. You and happy. Christy, what do you hope to learn from today's show? Um, well, you know, I have a two-year-old son, and I don't want guys coming in and out of his life. And I want to see if Jay and my relationship is stable enough, and you know, if we're meant to be together. That's pretty important. All right, hang on, because coming up, Christy's date says that she did something with her mouth. That really turned him on. Find out what that was next. All right, we're here with Jay and Christy. Now, Christy says Jay is as hillbilly as Jethro and as thick-headed as Homer Simpson. So we matched her up with a rugged man from Alaska who's as tender as a teddy bear. Please give it up for Michael Pizzoli. Now, Jay, 
First he says you're a hick. What does Michael remind you of? <laughs> I can see him like at a, at a door carrying pizza with the, the little oil dripping <laughs> off the hair. Yeah. Okay. That's, ooh, that's, Christy, that what about your first impression of Michael? What was that? Well, when I first saw Michael, the first thing I noticed was his beautiful eyes, his beautiful blue eyes. That, that's really important to me. And he brought me a long stem rose, and I thought that was really sweet. Nice touch. And Michael, what about Christy? Anything stand out? Yeah, her breasts. Okay. <laughs> She's got a great body. I couldn't, I couldn't keep my eyes off her. <laughs> okay. And Christy, did you know that he was so impressed with your parts? Um, well, I didn't know those parts, but um, when he saw me, he told me that I looked really beautiful, and that was great because Jay... Did he, did he know what color your eyes were? No, I didn't think so. No. <laughs> Same color mine are. Because yeah. Jay never... Now, now you blue. Know. Now you know. Because Jay never compliments me oh, anymore. Of yeah, I don't know the last time I've heard anything good. Do right. you know what color my eyes are? Uh, we would hope so. Now, Christy, <laughs> you said Jay's a hick. What about Michael? Any hillbilly signs from him? Well, you know what? Michael's actually from Alaska, so I thought he might be, but right. he was yeah. a lot more worldly. A lot of rugged men come yeah. from Alaska, you know. <laughs> He was a lot more worldly than Jay. So, Michael, Christy obviously appreciated your interest. Did you find out about hers while you guys were hanging? Yeah, I found out she likes to play softball. And uh, by the way she was looking, I was thinking a little later on, maybe we'd get down and play a little hardball. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bad her up. I'll tell you, Michael, I understand that you guys did something else, though, sporting-wise. Uh, you went ice skating? Tell yeah. us about that. Yeah, we had a good time. I could tell Christy was a little nervous because she hadn't <laughs> been skating in a while. And... I grew up in Alaska, of course, and played hockey, and so I've, I was kind of showing off, skating around her, and I was coming around to check out her butt, and I, I hit this divot in the ice. <laughs> Unfortunately, I, I fell on my butt like a yeah. penguin and kind of slid, <laughs> but it, it broke the ice, so to speak, between us. Uh, Very good. Dad, it was smooth sailing. I thought it was really cute that he was trying to show off for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Try, yeah. Trying the keyword. Christy? At least Christ I'll try something. Christy, what was the big thing that separated Michael from Jay, if there was one? Well, you know, it, it was obvious that Michael was a lot more mature and older. Oh. And he wasn't oh, yeah. quite as um, yeah. as stubborn and pig-headed. Uh -huh. oh. Now, Michael, based on your conversation with Christy, tell us what kind of guy you think Jay is. Uh, he's a crybaby. Oh, yeah? That's what you got? Yeah. He, he, has, he has some problems. He, he, they'll get into an argument, and he'll be whining and pouting and crying about the most insignificant little things. <laughs> Why and I, I don't. I don't think he's. I don't think he's cut out to be your boyfriend. Yeah. I see. <laughs> that was yeah, not a favorable see. impression. Yeah. No. So, Christy, how did he respond to your problems? You know what? He was so attentive and listened to me. It was great because Jay, if I try to talk to him, you know, he just kind of turns the other way. And and Michael really like looked into my eyes and listened to me. I thought, so he stayed there and he was with you. And Jay, why do you have a hard time listening to Christy? Because she's constantly talking. She's always running her mouth about something. And I, I, I never Not I never, never to listen. How would you know? Oh. Uh -huh. He's just always tuning her out. Now, Michael, you guys are finished up with ice skating. We're going to go on to dinner. We had to go change. How'd she look after that? Fantastic. She had this... Oh, she put on this tight top, this little blue top, and this, this black mini skirt. I, she has a tight, sexy waist. Uh, very accentuated breasts. I, I was in awe. You were enjoying uh, yourself. I was. Now, Christy, you're at dinner. Any problems that came up? Um, there was one thing. Michael's a little cheap when it comes to. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you know, I don't, I don't blame him. I don't, I mean, he, you know, I don't blame him. Look at the menu. He, you yeah. know, you probably asked for four different no, types he, of glasses he of asked, wine. He asked yeah. how much the price of everything was, which kind of was a little iffy for me. Hey. Jay, Jay, at least when we go out, lets me order whatever hey, I want. He knows I better. I don't, yeah. I don't blame He's him. Bankrupt. I don't blame. I don't blame him for checking the menu at all. <laughs> So, Michael, you got some cash flow problems here. Maybe did it nix the romance? No, no, not at all. That's just a temporary thing, you know. But uh, we, we were having sushi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were having sushi, and, and I was watching her, you know, dip the sushi. She's showing me how to, you know, I'm not a real sushi eater, so she's dipping it and putting it in her mouth, and a little soy sauce is dripping down. She's licking her lips, and I'm thinking, oh, I'm getting these romantic fantasies going. I don't know what to do with myself. Fantasy, right? that's all they are. Oh, no, I don't know. Christy, things oh, sound like they're heating yeah, up. Anything, yeah. any action? Uh, well, when we left the restaurant, it was really cold outside, so Michael put his arm around me and drew me near, and oh, it was really nice. <laughs> now, but Christy, when you're out in public with Jay, how does he treat you? Oh, this is Jay out in public flicking me with his finger, <laughs> grabbing my butt. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, I feel like I have two children sometimes. It's ridiculous. He's the bigger one, right? Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey. now, Christy, when you're having a conversation... about that, huh? <laughs> Christy, when you're having a conversation with Michael, what was it that you noticed most about that? Um, it's 
it's very, it was easy to talk to Michael, you know, like he, he was so attentive and so listening and cared about what I had to say, you know, it wasn't pig-headed and stubborn like Jay is. So you felt like he was invested in what was going on. Exactly. There, obviously. Now, Michael, any more affection other than just the arm around the waist to keep her warm? Yeah, a little later on we went to a club and uh, we had a couple of drinks. We're sitting on this overstuffed sofa and doing a little nibbling on the ear. Oh. Yeah. A little cuddling. A little, little bit of making out. You know, she's a really good kisser. Yeah. <laughs> She's making out on the date. Are you okay with that? Oh, I, I, I. <laughs> Speechless. <laughs> you don't know what to say. Okay, Christy, what about the kissing uh, when you got out of the club? Did it continue? Well, I invited him back up to my place oh. for coffee and to talk some more, and we talked a little bit longer, and then um, I gave Michael another kiss, and he gave me a really big, warm hug, and he said. Oh. Very nice. All right, now coming up next, we're going to hear how Jay's date got more than just the goodnight kiss that she expected. Stay tuned. <laughs> Christy just gave us the scoop about her date. Now it's Jay's turn. Jay says Christy's driving him to the poorhouse with all her high class tastes. So we found him a woman who only drives her men crazy for her. So put your hands together for Samantha Coleman. <laughs> Hello. Please have a seat. And Jay, anything intimidating when you first met Samantha? Um, nothing. Well, there was some intimidating. She uh, first walked in, and her little brother was sitting on the couch. <laughs> and of course, he was sitting on the couch at the time. And he went, when he stood up to shake my hand, uh, he was, you know, practically under the giant. <laughs> oh, really? So you're like, oh, six ten. So mm -hmm. I, you know, I, big guy. <laughs> <laughs> so Samantha. Uh, after you got a glimpse of Jay, were you actually excited about getting ready to go out and do your thing? I was very excited. I was very pleased with, with, with what I saw. I was, uh, he was very intelligent. He held himself very, very well. He's very good looking. And Jay, were you... Great smile. Jay, were you uh, surprised by Samantha's looks? I was pleasantly surprised. Very pleasantly surprised. She was, she was wearing a, a very, very loose, loose-fitting uh, loose black, top on, black top on. <laughs> And uh, I, I kind of noticed that she was kind of moving around, that she wasn't wearing a bra. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Uh, big class. Well, you definitely got the opposite of high class then. <laughs> and Jay, anything about her body that you found that was really different from Christie's? <laughs> Without a shadow of a doubt. She, uh, as she walked around, she went to pick up her purse. I kind of I noticed her, uh, her ass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little different. And, and, yeah, there's, there's a difference. You know, Christy, you, you need to shed a couple pounds. Oh. Okay, those who live in glass houses, baby. Oh, this is nice. There you yeah. go. Oh, Samantha, you guys are hanging out. Did you find that you guys had a lot in common afterwards? We had a lot in common. Actually, I don't know where she's saying he's a hick because he does not have hick taste. Thank you. Um, I'm actually a fashion design major, and we were talking about clothing, and uh, basically she said that... you a fashion that, design major? Yeah, actually I am. He does, that, that shirt looks horrible with that skirt. Right. But uh, anyways, he actually said that we have more in common with our clothing taste than they do. Oh. And Jay, what about you? D did you say it was an easy conversation b between the two of you? Conversation was, was very, very, very easy. She listened to everything I had to say, and we split the conversation completely. She listened. Did you actually listen to her? Complete, uh, complete opposite of her. Complete opposite. With her, it's like you can never get a... Uh, the, it, the, and she's just chatty patty. Chatty, right. Chatty. It, was, it was all intelligent talk, of course. Now, Samantha, I understand at dinner you guys actually had a bit of a surprise. You did, Samantha. You want to share that with us? Yeah, we had a very pleasant surprise. Uh, actually, we were ordering drinks, and our waitress comes up, and Jay's jaw hits the table, and he says, uh, this is... This is my girlfriend's best friend. Oh, how nice, and she's your waitress. Yeah, she was our waitress, which is very nice. Jay, did you know she worked there? I mean, you... I, I, had, no, I, I had no idea, and you know, she wouldn't have said anything. She was... So, boom, there she is. Now, Kirsty, you got your friend as their waitress. Did she call you and give you the scoop? Yes, she did, and I was kind of glad, because she told me, for one, that I had nothing to worry about. Oops. <laughs> and, um, that yeah. for one, you got, you Samantha, to worry about. Samantha wore uh, quite a lot of makeup, and that... Um, she kind of dressed like white trash, and oh! so I guess I guess her and Jade have a 
lots of plot in common. All right, so you had the heads up then. Jay, now describe the differences between the first date with Samantha as opposed to your first date with Christy. First date I had with Christy was just, it was, it was total, I had to impress, say the right thing. I totally felt like I was restricted. I, I had, I had no, I was no looseness about the first date at all. Samantha, it was like the first time we walked, we started talking in the truck. It was like just total easy conversation. So big different kind of vibe. Now, big what about different. your hormones? Anything that was, you know, getting them all churned up? Uh, yeah, th yeah, there was. Well, we're, since we she were... wasn't wearing a bra, for God's sake. Well, okay. Hey, you got you to flaunt what right. you got. That's a plus. That's a plus. <laughs> well, she, well, we were eating dinner, and as, as we were uh, finishing up in dinner, she kind of uh, kind of flaunted the fact that she had a little tongue ring, and I was... <gasps> and you like that? I, I was, you know, my mind was thinking about other places. You know, so. And Samantha, at some point on the date, did he start to act on those urges? He did. He actually came and sat next to me after dinner. We saw a comedy act. He came and sat very, very close to me. Kind of put his hand on my leg a little bit. So, Jay, there you guys are at the club. she do anything to impress you there? Uh, yes, she did. We walked into the club, and as opposed to Christy, always asking for, like, the most complex drink there is, a little foo-foo, uh, purple and pink drink. I used to bartend, Samantha I know what I like. Samantha comes in, she says, let me have a beer. Yeah, yeah. Right on. there you go. By the way, WWF. She right. would probably fit in at your horseshoe parties, too. Yeah. You yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Watch WWF. Jay, here's another point. You said Christy's bleeding you dry. What about Samantha? Money problems? No? Not, not a problem whatsoever. Every Anytime any, any conversation about money was brought up, she was willing to pay if not everything, for half of everything. She was there. It was, yeah. it was, it was nice to go on a date with you. And she Samantha, give me your perspective. Why do you think you guys hit it off so well? <laughs> actually, we're both water signs. He's a Scorpio, I'm a Cancer, and I really <laughs> love Zodiac. And actually, Scorpio and Cancer are the most compatible on the Zodiac sign. So you're connected that way, and Jay? <laughs> Jay, did you find other ways yeah, that you guys were compatible? Uh, well, we, we were compatible in a lot of ways. We had a lot of, a lot of the sports. Um, also, uh, we talked, you know, a few things about uh, sexual positions. Yeah. <laughs> sex, sexual and, and, and we had yeah. our tastes. Our tastes are very similar. I see. You were comparing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, Jay, after the comedy show, tell us what was in store. Yeah. Well, actually, at the comedy show, we went to uh, play a game of pool, and I, you know, I like, as opposed to Christy, when if I were to play, go go play a game of pool with you, Christy, it's like it's total competitive. And with Samantha, it was very nice. She was not a poor loser, like some I'm people I'm not are. a poor loser. You are a poor loser. I don't ever lose. Very so, I never lose. so it's much more relaxed. <laughs> much more relaxed. And, and Samantha, when all said and done, were you a winner or a loser in the big game of love here? I'd have to say I was a very big winner. Ah. <laughs> he, he, he walked me up to my he walked me up to my door, and I expected just a little peck on the in, on the cheek, and he actually uh, gave me a very passionate kiss. And it was definitely the kind of kiss that I, I knew that he had a very good time with me. I see. So I guess he was checking out that tongue ring. Uh, who is going to win whose heart? Those hard decisions are next. Stay tuned. All right, we're here with Christy and Jay. Christy was looking for stability, and Jay wanted Christy to actually appreciate him for who he is. Are they stable enough together? Let's find out. Jay, we're going to start with you and get your decision first. Three months you guys have been together, which is a fairly new relationship. You just don't know where it's going to go from here. So we sent you out with Samantha. You had a really relaxed time. You said she was more your speed. Uh, obviously, you had a good time. You had a good night kiss to end it all. What's your decision? Well, uh, Christy's very demanding, and uh, Samantha is very, uh, she listens very well and she offered to pay for a lot of things. <laughs> Which is a big plus for you, yeah. right? But I'm, I'm hoping that Christy will do the same. Oh. So you say stay together. All right, Samantha, sorry things didn't work out for you. Christy, we're gonna get your decision. Jay says he wants to stay together, but we sent you out with Michael. You guys had a really good date also. Ice skating, you had some romantic dinner on top of that. You did some kissing at the club afterwards. What do you say? Well, going on the show has made me realize that Jay and I have a lot more problems than I thought we did. Um, and Michael does things for me that Jay's always promised to do but never delivered. But I'm hoping that he will, so I'm going to stay together. Stay together! <laughs> Michael, sorry things didn't work out for you. All right, Jay, Christy, you guys do seem like you have a lot of differences, but hopefully the show has done what you want and brought you closer together. That is our show for today. Thanks to Samantha and Michael, and good luck to Christy and Jay. We'll see you next time on Change of Heart.